This is the video in GIMP to show how to blur the background. We've done some things with transparencies and layering. Now we're going to do uh, blurring the background. What that means is we're going to take uh, the image, layer it, and kind of make the foreground in focus or an object within focus and have the background blurred out. This is often a thing that they do on filters on phones now with portrait mode and things of that nature. Uh, but now we're going to show how to do this in kind of post-production. So the first thing we're going to do is I have this image of the Empire State Building. This is linked in the description to the file as well. As well, we're going to come over to the right side. We are going to duplicate the layer. Now we're going to take this bottom layer and we're going to hide this uh, eye right here or hide the image. And we're going to make sure that we stay highlighted on the top layer. We're going to right click on this and add our alpha channel. And again, remembering what that alpha channel is, it's a transparent background. So a new tool that we're going to come up here is a free select tool. It looks like the a lasso. And we're going to make sure we turn on that feather ed, feathering the edges. The reason we're doing that is we're feathering seven pixels. You might want to do it more or less, but it's to make it so we don't have that sharp contrast. Now, if I was doing this for an actual project, I would zoom in maybe even more and I'm going to select around this. Uh, right now, I'm going to keep it at about 50%. And I'm going to do a rough selection around this building. Again, if this is mine and I'm doing it for either a project or for my own use, I would spend some time uh, getting this detail just right. So we're going to come around this. And again, this is not going to have the, the best of the effect that I was going to create, but uh, because of how quickly I'm going. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm going to anchor to my original point. Now, when I do that, you're going to see I get a running line. Uh, that means that this selection is there and it's closed. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to my select and I'm going to click on invert. What invert does, it doesn't select what's inside. It selects the opposite, so it selects on the outside. I'm going to come to my keyboard and hit my delete button. We can see that transparent background that's there now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hide my first layer. I'm going to show my second layer, and I'm also going to select my second layer. So we can see here it's selected now. I'm going to go back to select invert. And now what's selected is the inside here. I'm going to press delete. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to select none. So nothing is selected. You can see I have that running line out. If I make both layers visible, it looks like I've done nothing to the photo. But if I show each individual layer, you can see that. So I'm going to go to my bottom layer, which is my background. And I'm going to come up here to um, my filters. And I'm going to click on my blur. The one that I find is most useful for this one for blurring the background is the Gaussian blur. Uh, you can choose and play around with the other ones as well. And what happens is when I select this, you can see the preview here. It's asking me how many pixels do I want to blur out. So if I choose something like 17, we can see that we get a rough blur of the background. Our four image stands out. I'm going to control Z and undo that. You're going to see if I come back down and choose a greater value, let's say 100. Let's make those locks of both. And you're going to see I get a really big distortion in the background. And again, this is the going for the kind of effect that you want. Again, this is what phones would do like in a portrait mode or if you're taking a picture of a flower up close and you want the detail in the flower and you want the background blurred. Uh, so it's just another tool that as you're trying to create your images uh, for computer science that you have these necessary skills or options to use.